Hi, I'm Brian. I'm Derica, and you're watching City Studying Brews. And today we're drinking our apple wine. Now this was originally bottled back in December the 9th of 2018. Mm -hmm. This is a lovely 2018 vintage. This is actually a bottling of the apple cider video. Okay, I called it apple cider, but it's actually apple wine. I corrected myself uh, in the description because we added sugar to it. Okay, apple cider would technically just be the juice itself. That was back when we were young and dumb and didn't know what we were doing. But this has been chilled, okay, because we prefer this wine chilled. Now we have actually tried this one. It's been sitting for about 15 months. When it first came out, we didn't like it. <laughs> it was pretty disgusting, I'll be honest. Foot? Wow, this thing had like uh, athlete's foot. I mean, it was, it was bad. It's apple. Apple does that. It needs time to age. I actually used it for cooking because I didn't like it so much. And then Derica, one day when I was cooking with it, said, well, I'm going to have some. And I was like, are you sure about that? And then she tasted it. And she's like, you need to try this. Okay, so now we're going to taste it on camera. So the ABV of this is 9%. Yeah, it's actually a little bit on the low side. The smell, I get immediate apple. I mean, it's just, it's apple-y apple. Now, before we get too far into the smelling notes, we're going to talk about its appearance. Look cloudy. And as you can see, it's cloudy. And some people would be like, oh, well, that's bad. It doesn't change anything. It really doesn't affect the flavor at all. I don't tend to hold the glass up to my face and try to look through it. Like, you know, if I want to see things, I just look at them. I don't look through wine. So it doesn't have to be clear. But color-wise, it's better in my head. golden with like a slight peach hue. It looks kind of like apple juice. Yeah. I mean, I'll be yeah. honest. It just looks like, like apple cider. Um, in the U.S., it'd be called cider, which is to say it's just a cloudy juice. Now, it's also possible that this was clear, and when we refrigerated it earlier, it got cloudy. That is a possibility yep. as well, because I remember the other bottle, we drank warm, and it was clear. Yeah. So... It's possible it... And we couldn't tell due to the coloration of this bottle, which is a green glass bottle. Yeah, it's an art bag bottle. What <laughs> color it was before we put it in the fridge. Okay. Smell. Sharp apple. Kind of a green apple smell. A little bit of an ethanol smell. Not, not too, too much. I'm going to let you give a smell, and then you can taste it and go from there. The first word that comes to my mind when I smell this is good. That is a terrible word when yeah. trying to describe something. But that should give you an idea I try that, not to use that word. it is a pleasant smell. Yeah, it smells really nice. It's definitely it apple It smells a lot like apple juice. It's definitely, like Brian was saying, it does have that alcohol twinge to it. But it's not It's not a footy scent no, like no, it not was when it was young. Um, Quite it's, approachable. It's, yeah. And, give it a taste. and I'm even getting taste it. some of the juicy taste it. sweetness you get from smelling apple juice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised you're not doing the do the do the roar. Because <laughs> it wasn't a roar; it's a taste. This is the kind of alcoholic beverage that you could easily get completely annihilated on because it tastes very friendly. It's like, oh, it's apple juice! Yay! Yeah, if you've, wow, um, it tastes like slightly alcoholic apple juice, which, to quote Savvy, is a good thing. Yes, yes. Oh my god, yeah, you would get so drunk Savvy on this stuff. and I could put some serious hurt on this bottle, we could put some serious hurt on quite a few of these bottles, Ugh. and pay for it dearly, but it is delightful. It tastes like apple, there's no denying the apple flavor and that's lovely because there's lots of times that we fermented berries and we were very disappointed that the fruitiness the essence of that fruit didn't carry through in the final right. product this it's apple now to people who are curious if you didn't watch the first video there's a link to it below and a card probably but this is basically apple juice from the store with some sugar added to it and I believe it was bread yeast, if I'm not mistaken. So this is proof that basic, simple stuff that you can get at the grocery store can make a pretty good wine. The trick is time. Without the time, this was, eh, I mean, you could you could drink it and get a buzz from it, but 
it wasn't really all that good. This came out with a nice sweet flavor to it without being like overly cloyingly sweet. Some people might think it's too sweet. I don't remember the finally, final um, numbers on it, but I know it came out a little lower than we thought it should, which means it pro a little lower in ABV, which means it probably has a little bit more sugars. But it's not overly cloying. The, the sharpness of the apple, like that tartness of the, like a green apple flavor cuts that sweetness a yeah, bit yeah. and really makes this quite enjoyable. This would be lovely with like um, uh, pasta with like olive oil or a butter type sauce or something like that to cut through some of that heavy fat. This would, this would be lovely. I could even see this as a pairing with like a Thanksgiving style meal. Oh yeah. With the turkey yeah. and with the turkey and stuffing. And stuffing. I mm -hmm. think that would be really mm -hmm. enjoyable. Or even um, like just roast chicken. Just roast, like chicken roast chicken or a simple pork. Yeah. Really simple things because this has a, has a more complexity of flavor. So it would compete with some things too much. Yeah. But if you think about foods that you would naturally pair with apple, like lots of times you would stuff pork with apple slices. Yeah. This would taste lovely with that. Yeah, because... with pork chops would probably be the ideal yeah. pairing for this. Yep. Pour some in your applesauce. <laughs> Don't and ask me where that came from. It actually reminds me a lot of Brian's more complicated applesauce where he uses really different does. types of apples because you get the sweetness of the apple and you get the tartness of the apple. And so it, it almost feels like two different apple types were used to create yeah. this. Yeah, this this is great. It's lovely. Um, so if you've not seen that video yet, go watch it and make this. Wait about 15 months after you bottle it and you will have this and it'll be awesome. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.